Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistic gel test. Today I have one of the most heavily requested loads ever on the channel. Bear Creek Ballistics in 350 Legend. Not one, not two, but three different loads. And here are all three boxes, or rather clamshell packs, of that Bear Creek Ballistics 350 Legend ammo. We're gonna go over each one, one at a time real quick. So first we'll take a look at this one. This is your 140 grain at 2,600 feet per second. Now note, it does say not recommended for Savage or Henry rifles, and I did look up on the website why that is. So apparently your Savage Axis and some Henry rifles have very light primer strikes. Their firing pin doesn't hit real hard, and so it won't always set the ammo off. Bear Creek Ballistics does have a specific ammo for Savage and Henry rifles, so if that's what you have, check that stuff out. This is not for that. And it'll be interesting to see how close we come to 2,600 feet per second because we will be shooting these out of a 16-inch barreled Ruger American Ranch. I could see us coming quite a bit short of that. It'll be interesting to see what we do get, though. Flipping it around, we can take a look at the cartridges. Notice the rounded tips here. Now, these will fit in any of your standard rifle magazines, including AR magazines. So that is sort of what this is meant for, sort of everything except your Savage and Henry rifles. And here's the second kind we're going to be looking at. Again, 140 grains at 2,600 feet per second, except these are designed for single shot or single feed use. Now, the reason for that, we'll flip it around to the back and take a look, is we have a more aerodynamic pointed tip here. So these won't fit in all magazines, hence single shot or single feed. You can use these in a bolt action. You'll just have to single feed it because they probably won't fit in your magazine. But what you will get instead is a better trajectory than your round nose. Here's your trajectory information right here. Trajectory, if I could say it right. And here's the third load we're going to be looking at. Now, this is a 160 grain version at 2,325 feet per second. Again, we're using a short 16 inch barrel, so it'll be interesting to see how close we come to that. And these are also the more rounded tip style. So if you're shooting these out of an AR or using an AR type magazine, like I will be in my Ruger American Ranch, these should work perfectly for you. So let's go shoot this stuff and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch chamber. 350 legend of course it's got a 16 inch barrel up top i've got a vortex crossfire 2 scope and coming on back i've got one of my 20 round magazine cuffs you pop that open you got a 20 round magazine close at hand right there really helps turn the ruger american ranch into the perfect truck gun camp gun anything you could need it for coming around to the other side i've got my white tail deer design on this one check out my website masonleather.com i would absolutely love to make you one i will link it in the description and in the pinned comment and real quick if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out i'm having a huge sale on my website masonleather.com go check it out and get yourself something We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for the Bear Creek Ballistics 140 grain, the round nose 350 legend load, minimum 2517, max 2533, average 2527. And here are the velocities for the 140 grain pointed version, minimum 2515, max 2524, average 2518. And here are the velocities for the 160 grain round nose version, minimum 2198, maximum 2228, average 2217. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those Bear Creek Ballistics 350 Legend 140 grain loads. We've got the round nose version over here, the kind you can use in any given magazine. And then over in the second set of blocks, we have the pointed version. So this is for use in single shots and stuff like that. And we did capture all six bullets from these two strings of shots. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and look at the round nose version first. Interestingly, here is the third bullet that I fired. Interesting story. We're going to count this. That is exactly 
where and how I found it. What happened, it impacted the first block, went on through, went about half an inch into the second block. Now at impact, this first block had moved. It popped back out and then spit itself out and landed right there on the table. It did not strike the table. That's just kind of how it landed after it popped out of the block. So we're gonna count and it looks absolutely lovely. Penetration wise, it went 16 inches. This one went 20 inches. And then this one right here is about 22. It's a little over 22. We're gonna give it 22 and a half inches of penetration. Excellent penetration for the 350 Legend. Sometimes you see it go quite a bit deeper without the expansion. Now these, we did get some very good expansion. Of course, we'll look at them closer here in a minute. And now for the pointed tip version, we have all three bullets right here. We have two exactly the same point of penetration. We've got two right here at about, we're gonna give it 20 and a half inches. This one right here, 22 and a half inches. So great penetration out of the pointed version. Very similar to the round nose version. Seems like they went a little bit deeper for some reason. Not a whole lot deeper, not a big deal. And it also looks like we had excellent expansion on these too. And as far as wound cavity is concerned, not a lot to speak of, which is sort of par for the course with solid copper bullets and 350 Legend. Now they did dump some energy. These front blocks did flip around a little bit. You should see that in the clip right before this one where I film it with that camera and that camera right there. So you should see the effect of the energy dump but in terms of wound cavity, there's just not a whole heck of a lot to speak of. It is tore up a little bit between about the eh, one and a half and seven inch mark, but nothing major as per standard with 350 Legend. You just don't see that massive wound cavity like you do with higher velocity calibers or cartridges rather. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot the 160 grain versions and then we'll dig them out and take a look. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that 160 grain Bear Creek ballistics load out of the 350 Legend. And we did capture all three bullets. There's one right there and then there's two stacked on top of each other right there. So penetration wise, extremely consistent. I'm gonna give this one 19 inches and then these two are right about 19 and a half inches. And it looks like we got some very good expansion there. Of course, we'll dig them out here in a second and take a look. Here's a little bit closer of a look. That expansion looks really nice and uniform all the way around. Let's take a look at them. And then real quick in terms of wound cavity, there's just not a lot to talk about. The lighting, it's tough to see. So I'm just gonna talk about it right here. Very similar to the 140 grain Bear Creek ballistics bullets. They're solid copper bullets. It's 350 Legend. You're not gonna get a massive wound cavity up front. And I've just not seen that really from any 350 Legend ammo. And I've tested just about all of them. But we'll talk about that more during my final thoughts here in a second. All right, y'all. So we have fired all three of the Bear Creek Ballistics 350 Legend loads. I've got all the data here on my sheet. Let's go ahead and hit all the metrics and then we'll talk about it during my final thoughts. We got a lot to get through though. So first let's hit weight retention for the 140 grain round nose bullets. We saw 120, 136, and 137 grains for an average of about 131 grains, and that is 94% weight retention. For the 140 grain with the pointed nose, we saw 136, 136, and 137 grains for an average of about 136 grains for 97% weight retention. And for the 160 grain round nose, we saw 156, 157, and 157 grains for an average of about 157 grains retained weight for 98% weight retention. So great weight retention across the board. I really wouldn't expect anything less from a solid copper monolithic bullet, or bullets rather. On to expansion. For the 140 round noses, we saw 0 0.63, 0 0.64, and 0 0.74 inches for an average of about 0.67 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 1.9x expansion, which is on the upper end of what I've seen for 350 Legend loads. For the 140 grain with the pointed nose, we saw 0 0.63, 0 0.66, and 0 0.67 inches for an average of 0.65 inches, which works out to 1.8x expansion really similar to the round nose. And then for the 160 grain round nose version, we saw 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and 0.7 inches. It was exactly the same across the board for an average of 0.7 inches expanded diameter. And that is 2X expansion, which is excellent for 350 Legend. 
And looking at the photo here, that bottom row of, bu that bottom row of bullets is your 160 grain round nose. You can visibly see they're a bit bigger than the other ones. So if you need to make a hole, that would be the one to use. And on to velocity for the 140 grain round nose, we saw 2534 for the high, 2518 for the low. Average was 2528 versus the factory build velocity of 2600 feet per second. So we came in 72 feet per second slower than spec. And keep in mind, we're using a, a short 16 inch barrel. So I don't necessarily expect to get the box spec as long as we're not too far below it. And this wasn't bad. For the 140 grain pointed nose, we saw 2524 for the high, 2515 for the low, for an average of 2518 versus the box spec of once again 2600 feet per second. So we came in 82 feet per second slow on average. But my goodness, look at that spread. Only nine feet per second difference between the high and the low, that's excellent. And then for the 160 grain round nose, our high velocity was 2229, our low was 2198 for an average of 2218 versus the factory spec of 2325. So we came in a bit slower here, 107 feet per second slower than factory spec. Again, we're using a short barrel, so it's not unexpected. And then impact velocities at 100 yards, and this is an estimate, but it should be pretty close, are 2199 feet per second for the 140 round nose, 2191 for the 140 pointed nose, and 1930 for the 160 grain round nose. Now on to penetration, and this was really interesting. All three of these loads performed very, very similarly, and arguably, I think, in the perfect range for medium game hunting. For the 140 grain round nose, we saw 16 inches, 20 inches, and 22 and a half inches for an average of 19 and a half inches of penetration. For the 140 grain pointed nose, we saw 20 and a half, 20 and a half, and 22 and a half inches for an average of a little bit deeper of about 21 inches of penetration. And then for the 160 grain round nose, we saw 19, 19 and a half, and 19 and a half inches for an average of about 19 and a half inches of penetration. So all three of these loads were right there at about that 20 inch mark that I love to see for medium game hunting. So not only did they get excellent penetration, you know, right there where I like to see it, but we also got that expansion that is so often lacking in 350 Legend hunting ammo. And when you see a 350 Legend load that has a real good balance between your expansion and the penetration, that's always great. And then we'll hit up kinetic energy for the 140 grain round nose going on average 2,528 feet per second. We're looking at 1,986 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 1,503 foot pounds at 100 yards. For the 140 grain pointed nose going on average 2,518 feet per second, we're looking at 1,971 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 1,492 foot-pounds at 100 yards. And then for the 160 grain version, going on average 2,218 feet per second at the muzzle, we're looking at about 1,747 foot-pounds of energy at the I keep saying at the muzzle, and then about 1,323 foot-pounds at 100 yards. So all in all, great kinetic energy across all three of these loads. The 240 grain loads were on the upper end of what I've seen for 350 Legend hunting ammo, and the 160 grain version is about par for the course in terms of kinetic energy. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, on to my final thoughts for these Bear Creek Ballistics 350 Legend hunting loads. I think across the board, they did excellent. They had it all. They had excellent weight retention, which I'd expect nothing less. These are solid copper monolithic bullets. 94%, 97%, 98% weight retention, respectively. Excellent. You're not going to have to worry about a bunch of chunks of metal and stuff in your meat. Expansion wise, these things knocked it out of the park. 350 Legend isn't a cartridge that likes to have real big expanded bullets. It just doesn't have the punch for it, but these did really good. 1.9X, 1.8X, 2X with 160 grain load. That is excellent for 350 Legend. Velocity wise, I think these did excellent once again. We didn't quite hit the factory spec velocities, but we're shooting these out of a very short barrel. If you're shooting them from, you know, I don't know, a 20 inch barrel. There's 350 Legend has all kinds of barrel lengths out there. There's 25 inch single shots out there. I have no doubt you would meet that factory spec, but we're using a 16 inch carbine. It is what it is. Still excellent. 
And penetration wise, this might be my favorite aspect of these Bear Creek Ballistics 350 Legend loads. With 350 Legend, you tend to just get really deep penetration and I want optimal penetration for whatever it is that I'm, hunt that I'm hunting. If I'm hunting with a 350 Legend, I'm probably hunting something like Whitetail Deer and you just don't need that excess penetration in a lot of hunting scenarios. Now, if you're tracking big bucks up north, you might want to use something else, but if you're doing most of your, you know, standard whitetail stand hunting and stuff like that, where you can take a more optimal shot, broadside quartering away, quartering towards, just anything but straight ahead or, you know, straight away, I think the penetration range we got with all three of these loads is excellent. So all in all, I'm extremely pleased with all three of these Bear Creek Ballistics loads. I would not hesitate to use them at all. If you've used them, let me and everybody else know in the comments how you liked them and how they did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.